My name is Chummy, also known as Chummy's Customs. So today we're gonna be creating a pair for Justin Timberlake. I was checking my DMs this morning and I saw a DM from TD Garden, home of the Boston Celtics, the 2024 NBA Finals champions. They wanna do a Boston Celtics jersey shoe to give to him before he performs at the TD Garden. The current time that I'm filming this, it is 7.39 p.m. on Monday, June 24th. They want this pair done and in hands by Friday, June 28th. Not that much time at all. Everything is crunch time right now. I already ran into my first issue. In the mock-up I originally sent them, it was gonna be Jalen Brown. Obviously, he just won the finals MVP, so all of his jerseys were sold out, except the black XO. It's a little big to use. I'm not sure what to do yet. I also got, they, they had Tatum jerseys in stock. So I'm gonna ask them tomorrow if they would be okay with Jason Tatum because we really don't have that much time to make adjustments. Other than that, that's about it for now. So I just got the shoes, I got the jersey. Time to knock them out. If you don't know who Justin Timberlake is, he is a renowned American singer and actor. Some of his most popular songs are Cry Me A River, Sexy Back, and Can't Stop The Feeling from Trolls. He performed at the Super Bowl halftime shows in 2001 and 2018. Lately, he's been kind of in the news just for other reasons, but besides the point, this is a pretty cool opportunity to be able to do a pair for him in the TD Garden. This was by far the biggest celebrity that I've done a pair of shoes for, and for him to actually acknowledge him and hold them and actually post them on his story, which I'll show the reaction video at the end, that kind of tops everything at this point in my custom shoe journey. Because I'll be honest, sometimes I make shoes for celebrities or famous people and sometimes I don't even know if it even gets to them or if they, if they even saw them. To actually see a video of him holding them, that just confirms everything. But yeah, my reaction to that was, honestly, I could not believe it. I was working on another project in the studio and I saw that he posted that on a story and I like literally froze and I was like, bro, I don't even know what to do right now. To see them like actually on his story is kind of surreal and I'm as I'm doing this voiceover I still can't even believe it because once people see that I honestly I have no idea what's gonna happen next I'm scared but I'm also super excited these were also featured on BR kicks nice kicks and complex sneakers it was super cool to see because those are some shoe pages that I've followed for a long time and to actually see my work up there is pretty cool talking about the process now we traced all of our panels with the sharpie and tape and then we are backing them using the flexible fiberglass that I talked about in the last video. This gives the jersey some structure and takes out all the wrinkles because uh, I had issues with that in the past where I would lay it down with the glue, the glue would either bleed through or it would just kind of make it all wrinkled and it would look bad. This flexible fiberglass kind of solves that problem. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the brand or the kind of glue that I'm using is Barch Cement Glue. This glue is really strong. It has a kind of a long dry time, so it's easy to work with. After that, we tuck our panels and then it's time to sew everything together. Like I mentioned before, this is a heavy duty leather patcher. The thread is a little bit thicker. The needles are a little bit thicker uh, to be able to go through the thick leather like the shoe. But with this part, it's just important to take your time and just go and use the existing holes that are already there as a guide. You can also hold the shoe a certain way to make sure that the panels are going where they were before. And when sewing on the swoosh, this is where you really want to make sure that you put a lot of glue so it doesn't slide. I got all the panels that need white threading finished. I forgot the green thread at home, so I'm just going to go home and finish the rest of that. Honestly, everything has gone pretty smooth so far. Knocked on wood that everything continues to go smooth. All I have left is to sew the green with the green threading, put on the, the stencils and also the tongue tag with the, the banner. So let's go home and finish them up. Once I left, I said, oh, I hope everything goes smooth because everything has gone smooth so far. So the first thing I do when I get home is try to put the gold iron on stencil onto the tongue. And for some reason, this vinyl that I bought wasn't sticking to the tag properly around where the clear paper was, you could see the other part of it is burned. So what I'm thinking about doing is probably just going to have to replace the tag. We fixed it. So instead of the iron on vinyl this time, I'm just going to paint it on. It's more annoying, but obviously the first method didn't work. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so I'm not sure what happened. Um, maybe I jinxed it or something. But yeah, I don't know what was going on with the iron on vinyl. Uh, it was a different brand than I normally get off of Amazon. 
so maybe that could have been it. I thought the best way to try and save it, to just lucky enough I had an extra tag sitting around so I could just sew it back on. All right, so the shoes are pretty much done. The last and final step before the box, we're gonna take some fabric and I'm gonna make the championship banners to go over the top of the laces so the laces will go underneath it. I got some iron-on transfer paper that I'm gonna heat press the banners onto. Then we're gonna sew the, the tags on. With this step, I'm just using a normal inkjet printer with some transfer paper. One thing to remember when you're doing this, and I forget it all the time, is to always mirror your image. If you're heat pressing on a light fabric, like white, I just wait for the heat press to get up to about 350 degrees. And then I pull the lever down and press it down for like 15, 20 seconds. And then after that, I can peel it back. And I always print more than I need just in case something goes wrong. Once we cut them out individually, we can now sew them back onto the tongue. Personally, I think this is one of my best ideas that I've ever come up with. So I'm really proud of this one, and I think it really encapsulated the title. After that, it's, it's time to lace them up and we're all finished. Wanted to say thank you to TD Garden for this amazing opportunity to be able to create a pair for Justin Timberlake. This is probably one of my favorite pairs that I've done so far. And yeah, like I mentioned before, here is his reaction video. I think he really loved them. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Championship uh, AF1s. Damn. With, with the jersey? Yeah, with his jersey. Yeah. The actual jersey? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> the banner on the front is too tough. Oh, thank you. Thank you, TD Garden. So cool.